2019 was completed with some strong and determined predictions of how this new decade would bring about change and development in the world of personal branding, marketing and photography. This clash of ideas and predictions were dashed as 2020 actually delivered an unprecedented turn of events that put all of these predictions upside down and inside out. Today we revisit the Influencer Trends 2020 in review. In this year part one we're re-examining trend predictions all about aesthetics. Here are some of the predictions I made this time last year about 2020 so let's play them back and see if I was spot on or totally wrong. I made this prediction about colour schemes. A lot of people in the design space are ushering in this new era of what a cyberpunk colour scheme is. Now what this means is intense colours, neon colours, very vibrant colours, colours with a bit of a hologram quality to them, if you can remember stickers and stuff from the 80s that we all had, that kind of colourway is predicted to be massive this year. Hyped concept. Cyberpunk colour schemes with gradients and textured gradients are set to bring a burst of colour to kick off the new decade. Well, I got this spot on! With the mass rollout of dark mode capabilities across tech this year, we did indeed see a surge towards cyberpunk. As predicted, this dominated in software and specific fields of tech. Google did a colour addition to their icons. Adobe's Creative Cloud went a whole lot brighter and we saw that a flurry of cyberpunk photography editing effects did very well right here on YouTube. I even brought out my own version of this with my Creative Contagion Lockdown Lightroom Presets collection which featured an apocalyptic cyberpunk colorway option. Next up then is the idea of the layered look and in photography this is exactly what I mean I've already hinted at we're cutting people out so that we can put them on a conceptual background or onto a gradient background that layered look in terms of design and overall aesthetic is going to be massive this year. So I predicted a layered look aesthetic and this prediction was that we were going to see illustration on top of a lot of different photography and also in digital design. I got this spot on. Illustration added to cutout photography with a sense of collage has certainly been very trendy all year. Tiger King was a smash hit Netflix documentary in the spring this year and the cover of this show is a perfect example of a collage effect from a photographic original. Cut out product photography, so if we're not selling the person behind the business and in fact it's the thing that the person behind the business has manufactured, you can also expect to see that cut out. Cut out product. In photography, I predicted that we'd see increasing client demand for continuous animation effects of their photography in GIFs and shoots directed with this end use in mind. And I got this totally wrong. The prediction of more animated cutout products was based on the advancement we've seen in user experience over the last few years. The aim was to make things more immersive. This took a backseat to the idea of connectivity being hugely important as many brands try to serve as many customers in a safe way online during the COVID pandemic. Those that got this right have preserved their businesses very well. Provocative optimism. This has been brought in from fashion primarily so far and we've seen these giant big bold silhouettes, very vivid colours, pleats that goes with the layered vibe and we're seeing this idea of celebrating that we've all got into the 2020s. Provocative optimism about the new decade ahead of us. So I predicted that hot prompts from fashion would be happening this year on the runways with bold shapes and lots of colour. I got this totally wrong. Fashion took a major hit when we all found ourselves at home looking for comfort over style and new styles. Lots of fashion brands have responded to this altered demand and you can see a bustling loungewear section on most fashion stores online now. Well, there you have it. Half spot on this year ain't too bad considering the disruption and unpredictability of 2020. 
Where do you think 2021 influencer trends are heading? Tell me below right now in the comments. This was a Moi TV Bulletin production. These corresponding episodes are here for your viewing pleasure. Sit back and enjoy. Until next week, goodbye.